Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent sensory consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. In today's video, we are going to do kind of a two-part video. I'm going to do the much requested warmer tour and kind of at the same time, we are going to discuss some features about Sensi warmers that may help you pick out a warmer that's going to work best for you. What I call tips for picking out a good performing Sensi warmer. Now what I thought I would do was kind of show you all my warmers, give you a little bit of feedback about each one and what I like, and then at the end come back and kind of talk about different types of warmers and kind of the whole spiel. That way if you just want to see the warmer tour, you can see that part. And if you kind of want to hear the full kit and caboodle and also hear about the different types of warmers we have and the features and benefits and advantages and disadvantages, you can hear that too. So I'm going to break off and we're going to go room by room. I'm just going to zoom into the warmer because I am not one for a lot of decor. I'm a very plain person and if you see dirt or dust, just ignore that. You'll actually also notice that I don't have a lot of seasonal warmers. I don't even really decorate for the seasons. So let's break off. <laughs> we'll get into the warmer tour. Okay, so let's start in my bedroom. This is actually what I call my overflow warmer. I don't use this one very often. I have it turned on for this video. There's the wax in the top. That's actually leftover Mandarin Moon. But you can see that bright light shining back at you is a green bulb. I usually do not prefer the colored bulbs, but I'm just using it up in this warmer because I don't use this warmer too, too often. I love this warmer. I don't know the name, but I love it because it's dark. It's a 25 watt ceramic and the dish is nice and big and also dark. And as you know, dark colors retain heat. So let's move on to the main warmer I use in my bedroom. So this warmer is kind of a little bit behind me in all my videos and it's a new release from last year called Free to Fly and it's available this year, currently now. It's a 25 watt ceramic warmer. I love ceramic warmers. You're gonna see a preference for those. The dish is nice and big. Up top there, we have Simply Vanilla going, so I'm not gonna pick up <laughs> the warmer dish. But the only thing I don't like about this warmer is you can see that little gap up near the top between the dish and the warmer. Sometimes I kind of fiddle around with that so it's a little bit better sealed. It has some lights in the back, uh, like, vent light so you'll see that in a lot of ceramic warmers that is so that the heat doesn't build up too intensely this is the warmer i use the most in my bedroom i like that it gives off a little bit of light it's very very pretty let's move on to the bathroom that's attached to my bedroom okay here we are in my bathroom this is the t rose 15 watt mini warmer it is a ceramic bulb warmer i love this one the only downside for me is that the dish on the top is a little bit smaller and if this tilts at all, like if it doesn't sit, you can have a little spillage out here. So just be very careful, make sure it's in there nice and snug. And the wax, I just turned this one on for the sake of the video, so it's not yet melted. But this is probably one of my favorite mini warmers. It's just very classic. And the fact that it's white, it goes with everything. Okay, right now we are in my kid's bathroom. This is the portion of the bathroom that has the sinks. There's two sinks. We have one diamond milk glass warmer, and there we have another. Now, even though it's called diamond milk glass, it is actually a ceramic warmer. You can tell because there's no wide base. It's like a turn and notch. So just keep that in mind if you need <laughs> to contact customer support. It is not a, a glass warmer. And next to this portion of the bathroom is kind of a separate area with the toilet and bathtub, etc. But this combination of two warmers does really well in this bathroom. These are great warmers. Okay, welcome to the picky daughter's room. Here we have the beacon warmer. This is a retired warmer. This is a 25 watt ceramic warmer. There's lots of decorative pattern, patterns with this warmer, so it's really pretty on the wall. And the dish is not very big. It's kind of a smaller dish, but this one gets nice and hot. It does really, really well. I think the fact that the dish is a little bit narrower kind of makes the scent stay a little bit longer, but it still throws quite well. And I think that could be because the warmer is somewhat petite and somewhat narrow. So I really, really like this one. It's the beacon warmer. Okay, so here we are in my youngest child's room. And this is the Spider-Man warmer. It's a 25 watt ceramic warmer. And this one right now has the red bulb in it. And this warmer is a little bit different because this whole portion here removes 
and there's a little base underneath with a light bulb. It's a very kind of strange <laughs> um, system. I actually don't really like this because sometimes I use the freezer method to change my wax. And if you want to see a video about changing wax, I do have a video I can link about six methods I use to change my wax out. However, uh, this one does get nice and hot, like touching it, it's, it's nice and warm. It does do a pretty good job. I'm pretty pleased with this. Just don't really love the fact that you have to use either the warm up method, the cool down method, or the cotton ball slash cotton cleanup method. You can't use the freezer method with this one. So anyway, still really like this one. I think it's really cool. Okay, so here I am in my TV slash bonus room, what I call the TV bonus room. This is the Vino warmer, and this one is an Edison ball warmer. So just really bright. Uh, what we have is a removable top that is totally aerated, and then you have the dish. So let me just see if I can focus in on this. I don't know if it will focus. There is a glass sleeve inside there, and all this outside portion is metal. I love this. It's really, really nice. I used to have it downstairs next to my fireplace, but I wanted to bring it up here because it provides some light when you're watching TV. So really, really nice. And I'll just show, it, show you another alternate warmer I use very rarely in this room. Okay, so here we are in a different portion of this room. This is called the Doodle Dot Warmer. And I should apologize for my shaky camera skills. It's really hard to do uh, filming. They're not going to hire me at, an, at any TV show, that's for sure. But if I turn the switch on, you're going to see that little indicator light come on. That's the only way you know that this warmer is on. So an element warmer differs from a bulb warmer because there is a heating plate right here. So it has a caution, you know, it gets hot simple. This is actually a 12 watt. If you ever need to know, it does say on the back um, inscribed in here. It is hard to read right now. Oh, look at all that dirt. Lovely. Um, this is a nice big dish. I use this warmer primarily if I have a scent that I find very, very strong and overwhelming. This kind of warmer will kind of lower the scent throw just a touch for me, but it kind of prolongs the scent. So a scent like painted leaves in this room would, would probably be better in this warmer versus the Vino warmer, because Vino warmer would just blast that scent. It would be a very intense scent. This will kind of dampen the scent throw and kind of sustain it over a longer time frame. That's what I found with element warmers. Um, that's just my personal opinion, and when I did check the temperatures, these don't get quite as hot as the ceramic bulk warmers, or I don't think the glass. I can't remember. I'd have to double check, but yeah, this is the Doodle Dot. If you see the warmers with separate dishes, those are usually going to be 12 watts, sometimes 10. The ones with no removable dish, and if they look really cute and pretty and decorative, those are usually 8 watts, so just be careful. I usually prefer 12 watt or higher. Okay, so this portion of my house is actually outside of my bedroom. We kind of have a pedway that you can look over my open concept layout, and that's why you'll hear a lot of echoing here. But I like to have this warmer going at night for a couple reasons. It's a glass warmer. I'm not huge into glass warmers, except if I want light which is what I want. I use this as a huge giant night light to also give me a little scent. So I'm gonna plug this in and show you what it looks like plugged in. Okay, so let me just see if I can get a little closer. It's beautiful. In the top I have ghostly greetings. Sometimes I put a scent I don't really like as much in here because I'm gonna be sleeping and I won't smell it as much, but also a scent like this is fairly strong to me. And a glass warmer, will kind of dampen a scent throw because it doesn't get quite as hot. It looks prettier, but it doesn't get as hot. So anyway, let's walk down my stairs and I will show you the other warmer that I use. And we're approaching it now. It's called the Perfect Pearl. And it's a very dark day here today. I should have done this on a different day. I'm gonna turn it on. This is a glass 15 watt mini warmer. It also has ghostly greetings. I'm not a big fan of glass mini warmers. They are actually probably one of the weakest throwing uh, warmers that we have besides the eight watt element. However, when they taper down, they seem to work better for me. They melt the wax, no problem. I will show you another warmer that is a different style later in the video that does not melt the wax as well. But the reason, here, here's what I'm talking about, this large, turn style uh, 
base above the switch, that's how you know it's a glass mini warmer. Okay, so here we are in my foyer, which is just a little bit off to the side from the stairs. And if you've watched any of my melting basket videos when I film outside, the door is right next to me there, which I film next to. So this is the Fluted Gray, which is a 25 watt glass warmer. And I believe this is my absolute favorite warmer. I love, love, love this one. Typically I don't love a lot of glass warmers. This, was, this one is an exception because this one is a little powerhouse warmer. It really throws scent extremely well. Now in the top there, I've got some wax warming. Uh, so I don't wanna remove, well, maybe I can remove the dish. The bulb is very close to the top of the, of the warmer. So I think that's why. Now one thing you wanna be careful of with any warmer that has an iridescent finish is sometimes you can damage some of the finish when you're, if scent oils get on the warmer dish. So just be very, very careful of that. But this is great for looks. It's great for function. It's just great overall. And that's the fr fluted gray. And guess what? I have a spare in case I ever break this one. That's how much I love this one. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen, which is part of my open concept layout. And I have the Etch Core Warmer. On the outside of that, you'll see a removable sleeve that has kind of like grape vines and all that stuff. And at the bottom is a cord concealing base. Now in the top here, we're waiting for wax because I'm not sure which wax is gonna go in there today until I find out the winner of Tester Tuesday. So I usually have to wait sometimes. Uh, actually, I'm about to go out. I just plugged this warmer in for the sake of this video. And this is a 25 watt ceramic warmer. It's kind of a narrow, short, petite warmer, but man, does this thing throw a, a little bit of scent out, man. It gets nice and hot. One thing I love about this is the dish has a rounded bottom, so the wax is really easy to remove if you like to let it cool down to the point where it's squishy and remove it in one big swoop. One thing you wanna be careful of with this warmer is that the Porcelain is not glazed in all areas, so just be careful against wax spillages. Might not be a good warmer to do a lot of hot dumping because you don't want to get wax on the porcelain and stain the porcelain. But anyway, love this warmer. It's a good, solid, little performing warmer, and it's available currently. Okay, so here we are in kind of the main part of my living room. This is the Stone Leaf 25 watt ceramic warmer. It's waiting for wax too. I have to wait and see what Tester Tuesday winners are before I put my wax in for the day. But this one here is a great warmer. The only problem was my previous dish, I did have a problem with the dish leaking. So I think it might've had like microscopic cracks. So always just be aware if you see anything in the bottom of the warmer that looks odd. Like, let me see if I can show you. This is actually a new dish, but let me just see. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of wax down in, in this kind of region over here. So. I should probably really clean that out, but this is a great warmer. It gets nice and hot. It's a really good warmer, highly recommend. Hi, so now we are in the far area of my living room area. It open concept, hence the echo, and we're kind of next to my big fireplace here. So anyway, <laughs> this is the Boho Chic Warmer. It's retired. This was one of my very first warmer purchases, purchases on a flash sale, along with the Doodle Dot that you have already seen and another one that you'll see here in a second. But this one is a great warmer. It's kind of short and squat, which is a good, usually feature that the warmer is gonna be a, a great thrower. The dish is really, really nice and wide. And if I remove the dish, I will show you. The light bulb is right there. It is super close to the top of the dish. That usually means it's gonna be a great performing warmer in terms of scent throw. So I really like this one. It's waiting for its wax for the day as well. So here we are in my middle child's room. This is the bedroom portion of my child's room and this is the Aspen Grove full-size warmer. I love this warmer. It may not be the greatest in terms of looks, but man, the function is terrific and it does it goes really well with the decor here. And the dish is somewhat small but this one has no problem throwing the scent. It's a terrific warmer. It gets really, really hot. It's a 25 watt ceramic, like I said. This one's retired, but if you stumble upon this somewhere, I would suggest picking it up. Okay, so here we are in my middle child's like adjoining bathroom. This is one of my favorite warmers. It's a glass warmer, but as you can see, it has a lot of grout. That grout helps 
make it a little bit warmer than a typical glass warmer. And you'll notice with a lot of glass warmers, they do not have vent holes, but sometimes they factor in these balloon type shapes <laughs> just to kind of keep it at a certain temperature. Sensi wax is designed to melt at a low temperature, so they don't want the warmers getting too hot because uh, it's really not needed and they don't want them not getting hot enough. So they usually factor in some features that will kind of get them to the temperature that they want. Now right now, I'll just show you. Here's the dish. I just took this out of the freezer and the wax, when you take it out of the freezer, it just falls right out. Now, that was simply vanilla, so I have to clean the bottom of that dish. A lot of vanilla leaves a stain on the bottom of the dish. But I will put this in, I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna put it in very quickly and just turn it on briefly for the sake of the video so you can see the looks with the light on. One of my favorite warmers. Let me just get rid of this, this is ugly. There we go. I will turn this off just so that I don't overheat that dish right out of the freezer. And I will clean that stain and then I'll load her up for the day. Beautiful crystal leaves warmer. If you see one of these, pick it up. Okay, so here I am in my dining room. This is the Elegance warmer. It is a 25 watt glass warmer, hence the beauty. Glass warmers are always nice and bright. They are beautiful for light, sometimes a little bit lower on the scent throw and a little bit lower heat. So keep that in mind. I rarely use this warmer. I basically use it for, sometimes for light purposes, uh, but pretty much this is just here because I love the looks, but I rarely use this warmer and I actually had to pull it, put a bulb in just for this video. So <laughs> I will put that bulb back in the other warmer here in a second. But this one does have a little bit of a smaller dish and I'll just show you on the bottom of the Scentsy dishes, there's always a number. This one's backwards, but it says three. Um, that is theirs to help people know how many cubes of wax to put in for the optimal kind of scent performance for the warmer. It does not really indicate that there's going to be an overflow with more than three. I mean, obviously, if you get higher and higher, you'll, you'll have an overflow, but um, it's actually mostly there to help people get the optimal scent performance out of the warmer. So it says that in the frequently asked questions of Scentsy um, Wax. So that's how I know that. That's what they told me in the frequently asked questions. So that's what I say. Let's go on. There's two more warmers to show you. Okay, so here we are in my mudroom laundry room, which is the side entrance of our home. We use this entrance the most. Here I have the Chasing Fireflies Mini Warmer. It's a ceramic 15 watt. Now, you'll notice that at the rim of my mini warmer, I've actually lost some of my silver color, and that was cleaning once. I can't remember if it was a magic eraser or rubbing alcohol, so just be very careful with either of those methods to clean um, your warmers if there's like a finish, a painted finish on them. This is a terrific performing warmer. The dish is nice and deep. This is probably my second favorite, if not tied for my favorite with the tea rose. Right now, I believe in this warmer I have Blueberry Rush mixed with Wooly Slippers. I have two little Blueberry Rush testers with one cube of Wooly Slippers. And Blueberry Rush is definitely winning out over <laughs> Wooly Slippers. So just to let you guys know, I need less Blueberry, more Wooly. Let's move on to the final warmer of the house. Okay, so here I am finishing off things in my garage of all places. No, I typically don't warm wax in my garage, but sometimes I put this warmer on because it's a glass. 15 watt mini warmer. It's nice and bright. I'll turn it on here. Woo, I think it's called Twirly Bird. You'll see right here, there's a little bit of paint missing. That's because some wax spilled on it and when I went to remove it, took the paint off. But I think the bird's over on this side. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> and again, you'll see the big wide base. Oh, what's that? Dirt. You'll see the big wide base above the on and off switch. That indicates it's glass. The ceramic warmers are quite thin. They don't have this big wide ledge. So this type of warmer I do not like. It's very, very heavy. Um, sometimes it pulls away from the, the outlets. Insert, if your outlets are kind of loose, it pulls away and it tips and the, the wax doesn't melt very good along the front. I also do not like the, the bulkiness of it in terms of the, it's nice and wide and cylindrical all the way down. And I feel like it just doesn't get quite hot enough and retain the heat. So these type of glass warmers, I do not recommend this style of shape. The one that was the perfect pearl that tapers in towards this 
uh, corkscrew base. Those I like. These type I do not like. Now I shouldn't complain too much. What happened was because of this little wax spillage, I did contact Scentsy and they let me pick out a, an equal equivalent warmer to replace this. And then rather than throw it out because I do like how bright it is, I decided, well, I'll just put it in the garage and, you know, right now I have ghostly greetings <laughs> melting in here. And that's because I don't really like ghostly, ghostly greetings that much. But let me branch off and I will kind of summarize and just talk a little bit about Scentsy Warmers in general. So if you want to stick around for that, stay tuned. So let's just talk about Scentsy Warmers. In general, not talking at all about Scentsy, just warmers in general, you kind of have bulb warmers, you have hot plate warmers, and you have like tea light warmers. So Scentsy does not involve any flame, so we can get rid of the tea lights. But you basically have bulb warmers and you have hot plate warmers. Now Scentsy calls their hot plate warmers element warmers. Be aware of that. Sometimes people that use vendor wax complain that Scentsy warmers don't get hot enough, but some of them definitely do get hot enough to well to melt other forms of wax. Please keep in mind if you melt non-Scentsy wax in your Scentsy warmers, it does void your warranty. So keep that in mind. But let's talk about the different types of warmers. Let's talk bulb warmers first. We have the 15 watt mini warmers. We have the standard full size, which can usually be 20 watt or 25 watt. And we also have the 40 watt Edison bulb warmers. Now there's different materials used. And you can mix and match and have different <laughs> factors of each one. You can have glass, you can have ceramic, and you can have metal. And they actually almost have like a polycarbonate, but they, they uh, classify that as metal, like the wire you brushing, blushing, <laughs> warmer. I work at a dental office. <laughs> anyway, that is classified as metal, but there's like a, almost like a hard resin core. So Anyway, there's different materials, and we also have the Himalayan salt warmer, which is made of, out of salt. So just different materials used for different warmers. Now, I prefer, in general, overall, I prefer ceramic warmers, the 25-watt bulb ceramic warmers. I do not purchase any 20-watt warmers typically. I just prefer the higher scent throw that you get from a 25-watt. And I usually stick with ceramic because it gets a little bit hotter. Glass is very pretty but it doesn't get quite as hot. So we talked a little bit about that in my warmer tour, but glass I use more for looks and ceramic I use more for function. So that is the way I do it. Does Do glass warmers work? Yes, they do, but they are gonna give you a lower scent throw. In doing that, it usually makes the wax scent last longer. So ceramic gets hotter, burns the, burns the scent off a little faster, glass not quite as hot, prolonged scent throw. So, with regards to metal warmers, I have one coming, the Olive Bucket Warmer. I'm looking forward to that. It's a 40 watt Edison wall bulb warmer. Now keep in mind, most Edison watt bulb warmers are glass. The 40 watt obviously gets hotter than a 25 watt. However, because it's in glass, glass tends to lose heat easier. It actually brings the temperature very close to 25 watt ceramic warmers in general. I do have one of those little guns that measures, but in general, when you get a, a 40 watt Edison bulb warmer, if it's glass, which it's usually going to be, it's usually very comparable to a 25 watt ceramic full size warmer. Okay, now the bulb warmers kind of give off the heat from the bulb and that's what warms the wax. There's different features that kind of influence how well that's going to work and how hot the warmer is going to get. But one thing I definitely want to tell you is and I see this in vendor wax groups all the time, so that's why I want to tell you. Whatever the wattage it says on the bottom of your warmer, and you can turn the bottom of your warmer over and there'll be a little sticker, and it'll usually say 20 watt or 25 watt. Do not exceed that wattage of bulb in your warmer or it's a fire hazard. If you don't find the wax is being warmed well enough, you have the wrong warmer. You need to pick a different warmer. Do not increase the wattage of your bulb pass what the electrical standard recommends because you don't want to overwhelm the electrical system. Very important. No one wants a fire. So you can go lower, never higher. Now keep in mind right now we have colored, watt, colored bulbs for 15 watt and also for 25 watt. Some of the bulbs I don't feel probably get quite as hot and I'm going to probably do a test at some point but the purple and blue I don't think they're going to get quite as hot as the other ones 
but that that'll be something I maybe we'll do later on once I'll, I'll pick up some bulbs and kind of do a little comparison all in the same warmer now let's talk about features of a warmer that may help for the for the bulb warmers if it's a darker colored warmer it's usually going to get hotter it's going to retain the heat because dark colors retain heat a little bit better that's why when you go out in the sun with a dark you know black jacket on you feel hotter than if you have a white jacket on uh, if the warmer is kind of shorter and squatter they tend to do very well also if the ball is very close to the bottom of the dish if there's a very small distance those warmers usually heat up very well and perform with a nice high scent throw um, i prefer for increased scent throw i prefer straighter sides you'll notice in some of the glass warmers they do have a bulge kind of like if you had like a big muffin top <laughs> they have a bulge in the middle and that's designed to because you can't really have holes in glass warmers really so, so that's just a design feature that's incorporated for safety i believe but in doing so it makes the warmers not get quite as hot that's why you'll notice warmers that are like nova um what's that other one stargaze even the crystal leaves uh even the uh, in the clouds they all have that kind of big bulbous shape glass no ventils now if you remember i really like the free to fly with the butterfly on it because the dish is nice and big if you have a big wide dish the wax is going to be spread out over a great big surface area. You're going to get lots of heat on that dish and the scent is going to be released easier. So theoretically, you may have to use a tiny bit more wax in that dish. If the if it's a really thin layer of wax, you might really lose those um, fragrance oils quickly uh, because it's going to heat up and be released very easily. Now, if you remember, the beacon warmer in my daughter's bedroom has a small dish. And the wax, if I use two cubes in that, it's a little bit thicker than if I use two cubes in my bedroom. So that could be why hers um, lasts a little bit longer than my room sometimes. Um, I think from memory, both warmers get pretty comparable in terms of heat. If a, a warmer doesn't have a ton of vent holes everywhere, then it'll typically be a better uh, performing warmer. Now my daughter's is, has tons of vent holes, but that one still performs wonderfully. So can't always go with that rule. All right, let's move on to the element warmers. So element warmers are basically a hot plate. There is no bulb involved in heating the wax. Sometimes on some of the warmers, you will see lights, but that's not intended to provide heat to heat the wax. It's more for looks. So with a uh, element warmer, you have some that have lids and some that don't have lids. You have some that have removable dishes and some that have built-in dishes. Now the wattage is also vary. The lowest element warmer that we have is 8 watt. That is um, very common in ones that are very decorative in nature. Warmers such as Roost, which is the beautiful little chicken, and uh, the new one Take a Stand is also an 8 watt. What I found is if in general you do not see a removable dish on an element warmer, and it's also very cutesy and artsy and decorative, those are usually the 8 watt ones. The 10 watt one that I can think of off the top of my head element is the Little Garden. And that's got a cute little dish, very cute overall little warmer. The 12 watt warmers that we have are ones like the Diamond Milk Glass, which is kind of like the sister companion of element warmers to the ones that I had in my kids, kids bathroom. Um, I believe the Zen Rock and the Love are also 12 watt. I do not have those myself to compare. That is one of the uh, complaints I have with element warmers is that it doesn't state the wattage when you buy the warmer. It really should state that. It states the other warmers. It states whether it's 20, 25 watt, 15 watt, 40 watt. It really needs to state the wattages for the element warmers. Now we do have a 13 watt element warmer, two of them that I can think of off the top of my head from the past. One is the Star Dance and one is the Make a Scene Warmer. Recently we had a 15 watt element warmer in the Glimmer and Glow, which was the scent of the month for October. 2020 that one has a lid now theoretically when you have a lid it might hamper or dampen the scent throw because the scent has to make its way through a tiny little opening or little holes in the lid so in having a lid you can either keep the lid on and kind of lessen the scent that's being released or you can take it off and that way it can really escape easily 
So that is just something to know. One thing I do want to point out, you may think to yourself, well, the mini warmers are 15 watt and the hottest element warmer is also 15 watt, well, wouldn't they be the same output? Well, no, because a hot plate has direct contact with the dish and it's, it's basically um, kind of less heat loss that way. Uh, with a bulb, you have heat being evaporated from the bulb and that's the loss of heat happening. So it does have to be a little bit hotter to kind of melt the wax. So if you take away the bulb and then put a hot plate in or an element plate, heating plate, doesn't have to get quite as hot to melt the wax. Now I find eight watts sometimes is not hot enough. Some people complain around the edges it's not melted or it doesn't melt very well or the scent throw is very light. Um, 10 watt, 12 watt is usually fine. It's a little bit lower than a lot of the 25 watt bulb ceramics, but it's pretty, you know, it does a pretty good job. Um, I like it for like slow and steady scents that I just want to kind of keep them chugging along. And, um, you know, the 13 watt and the 15 watt, especially if you take any applicable lids off, they usually do well. Some of the advantages for element warmers compared to bulb warmers is you don't need to ever buy a replacement light bulb. There's no light bulbs to replace. So you just make sure it's turned on and you're good to go. Also, if you're light sensitive, element warmers are perfect for you. The more steady release of fragrance, I think is, in my opinion, that is a good um, advantage. The other, the other thing I've noticed is there's some family members of Sensi Addicts that don't really like a lot of warmers on and you can kind of sneak in a few uh, element warmers on because there's no light. Sometimes they don't know that the warmers are on. So that's kind of a sneaky thing to do. Some dish disadvantages of the element warmers, in my opinion, is that you don't know the wattage ahead of time. So personally, I would never buy anything below a 12 watt element warmer ever. And I know that sounds mean. That's just me personally. I am more for performance than looks, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, but I, I just think that if it's not 12 or above, I don't want it. So I think they should put the wattages to help and customers make informed purchasing decisions. That's my personal opinion. Um, the low wattage warmers may struggle with uh, heating the wax hot enough to get a good scent throw. Now there are some advantages to those lower eight watt warmers. Let's say you have a baby's room and just want a very, very gentle release of scent. An eight watt well, element warmer may be great. Or let's say you work in an office like where there's kind of like an open setting and you don't want to offend anyone with scent. A nice, small, 8 watt element warmer just might give you the tiniest kiss of fragrance and not overwhelm your neighbors. Uh, one other thing is if you have a very strong wax that you don't really like very much, uh, a very low wattage element warmer may kind of disguise some of those scent notes that you don't like and it may kind of lower it to a point you can tolerate. So let me just uh, wrap up by saying a couple take home messages. Um, in general, for me, the best performing warmers that I have are mostly all 25 watt ceramic. The exception might be the fluted gray and I think the uh, design feature of the the dish being very close to the top of the bulb may may help compensate for that. Um, and on the on the flip side, if you're looking for more light or beauty kind of features, you may want to stick with glass warmers. If you're someone that really wants to prolong your Scentsy cubes as long as possible, get the most scent out of them for a long amount of time, then you want to go with glass warmers and even maybe glass mini warmers. Just keep in mind the wax throw or the strength of the wax is not going to seem as strong as if you had it in a ceramic mini warmer. So there we have it. It's all over the place. Hopefully you made some sense out of this. I hope this was helpful in some way. Um, if you have any questions about warmers, please put them down in the comments below and I will help you in any way I can. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.